Hello everyone, and welcome to a brand new Engines of North America video. Today, we will be talking about the Fairbanks Moors H2044. In 1947, at a convention in Atlantic City, New Jersey, Fairbanks Moors showed off a handful of new engines. These include the H1544 and a demonstrator H2044, whose paint job was only just finished on the site of the convention. The H2044 was quite the sight, elegantly designed by the famed Raymond Lowy, though this did change later in its production run. It measured in at a measly 51 feet, had all of its electrical components made by Westinghouse, and featured two swing bolster drop side equalizer trucks. The H in H2044 stood for hood, the 20 stood for 2000 horsepower, and the 44 meant the engines ran on four wheel trucks and had four traction motors. On the inside, they came built with a two cycle 38D8 1 8 six cylinder engine, four WE37DE Westinghouse traction motors, and rode on a B B wheelbase. They had a top speed of 60 miles per hour, a starting tractive effort of 75,000 pounds, and a continuous tractive effort of 50,000 pounds. Each unit weighed in at 250,000 pounds, measured in at 51 feet, and for the horn, then can be built with several different kinds of horns, such as a Wabco E2. Full of five North American railroads ran the H2044. These include, but are not limited to, the Akron Cannon in Youngstown, and the Union Pacific. The railroad with the largest fleet of H2044s was the Pennsylvania Railroad, with a total of 38. The Pittsburgh and West Virginia had the second largest fleet, with a total of 22. The railroad with the third largest fleet of H2044s was the New York Central, with a modest 19. Not only was the H2044 the most powerful Fairbanks Moore switcher, but it was also the most powerful 2,000 horsepower road switcher ever built. In fact, according to the book, the diesel builders Fairbanks Moores and Lima Hamilton, written by John Kirkland, all 2,000 of its horsepower couldn't be used in just switching. Ironically, said 2,000 horsepower, its odd design and lack of a low nose variant led to the model being a lukewarm seller, the 1200 horsepower H1244, on the other hand, was a better fit as a strict switcher, though the H2044's large horsepower output was a bit of a silver lining when used in road switching and transfer runs. While an overpowered yard switcher, in road service, it was a good workhorse. Today, three H2044s have been made it into preservation. They include Union Pacific 1369 at the San Diego Railway Museum in California, Union Pacific 1366 at the Illinois Railway Museum, and Akron Canyon in Youngstown 505, repainted as Union Pacific 410, which is located at the Galveston Railroad Museum in Galveston, Texas. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe, please.